Hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from wherever you're watching this video from. Welcome back to Two Quiz Paradise. My name, as usual, is Meshak. And here we are to discuss motorcycles and everything to do with motorcycles. Have you subscribed to the channel so far? Yeah, I do appreciate the fact that I have seen you watching my videos. The views are getting higher and higher in number. But uh, I would uh, want to request you to hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget the bell icon for notifications so that every time we upload a video on this channel, you can get notified that something new has just landed on your most favorite YouTube channel about motorcycles. Two Wheels Paradise, let's get down to business. Here we are with something very, very nice looking. Yeah, in my hands is a brand new Yamaha XTZ150. And as the name suggests, Yamaha XTZ, that means something very, very popular. You know what it means? It means Tenere. Yeah, this is a Tenere, the entry level into the Tenere family. Dual sport, adventure, and everything else to do with off-road riding, which combines with highway touring. This is XTZ 150cc. And it is a premium motorcycle. It is good looking, as you can see. It is small in size, of course, because it is 150cc, but that doesn't mean that it is not worth, yeah? Doesn't mean that it is not worth. Before we move on, I would want to give my shout out to Yamaha Kenya by Sifao Motors for allowing me to come to their premises, test their brand new motorcycles, and also film. It doesn't always come rightly. This is a privilege I've been given by a company and I don't take it for granted. Thank you so much Yamaha Kenya by Sifao Motors. I do appreciate. To make it clear to you, my viewers, this is not a full review of the motorcycle. I don't want to promise that I can tell you so much about this bike because I have just had one day to test it and see what it looks like. So basically what we are doing here today is a walk around to see how the bike looks like. Test the bike and see how it feels when you sit on it, how you ride it. Just hear the engine sound and look at the manufacturer specs. Look at what the designer of the motorcycle is promising you if you happen to buy this motorcycle blood new. So this is not a full review. This is a first time test and feedback kind of video but I will try and see how much information I can be able to give to you. Nice! Starting with the engine, which is the most important part of every motorcycle, the manufacturer is giving us 149cc Sigo Zelda, which is air-cooled, four-stroke in design, Sigo overhead camshaft, and two valves, meaning this motorcycle has one intake valve and one exhaust valve, you see? Something very nice about this motorcycle is that it doesn't come with a carburetor. You see that? That is a throttle body that tells you this is a fully fuel-injected motorcycle. Did you get that? Yes, this is an EFI bike. We don't have business with carburetors here. It is Sigo Zelda, of course. And the manufacturer is promising us to get around 12.6 horsepower which comes up at around 7500 rpm and 13.1 newton meters of torque which comes at around 6000 rpm. This monocycle comes with monoshock to the rear and just the normal front forks. And uh, to the front this bike comes with a disc brake and to the rear we have drum brakes you see yes as a drum brake which looks uh, quite premium but of course it is a basic drum brake and do not make a mistake of thinking that drum brake is not enough in this motorcycle this motorcycle is very very light very 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 light and i mean it it is very light according to the manufacturer the motorcycle comes at around 131 kgs 131 kg that, that, that's a little bit uh, light eh? and uh, Coming with 131 kgs and uh, it is a Sigo Serida 150cc, 
there is no much power, there is no much whatever weight, so you don't need a lot of braking. Look at the seat. The seat is so premium. Yeah, look at the seat. It is a seat that is promising a lot of comfort when it comes to highway riding, you see? Yeah, and also this bike comes with provisions for your period passenger to grab. Yeah, it's a bike that you can travel around carrying someone. Although it is not so powerful, I do believe it is a bike you can carry someone as long as you people are not so heavy and you're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Yeah, the tires are just normal tires, but this one comes with 17 inch rim. So the tire is around 110 by rim size 17. Look at how beautiful the swing arm is, yeah? Very, very, very beautiful, very beautiful. To tell you the truth, this motorcycle is premium built, yeah? Everything looks put together by someone who knew exactly what they were doing. See now, those are the throttle cables, the throttle and the return, yeah? Feels intact. You, you can expect that an EFI bike will behave properly, not like a carburetor where there is small ragging when you pull the throttle, when you decelerate. Carburetors are not so efficient when it comes to throttle, but EFI comes up nice. Front, we have the disc brake from Nissin. Very, very premium. And as you can see, that caliper has two pistons. That means that motorcycle can stop. Yeah, do not uh, make a mistake of thinking that because to the rear it has a drum brake, it is not safe when it comes to riding. Looking at the controls, they're just basic. There's nothing fancy. Yeah, the head right full and high, high beam and low beam, you see, there is the pass right button as usual, just the basic end. This one has gone down during a test ride and you see how the lever looks like. That one tells you the levers are not cheaply built. Most of these levers from the Chinese motorcycles tend to break every time you drop it. But you see this one has the allowance to bend. Yeah, it has the allowance to bed, meaning you can collect the mess on your way home or maybe later on if you go down while you are riding. If something is not breaking and it is bending, that one tells you whoever designed it was serious. Look at the front. This bike looks very, very premium. We have the Nissin uh, Master Cylinder to the front uh, because we have a disc from Nissin. We have the caliper from Nissin. Everything from Nissin brakes. And Nissin brakes are, are, are premium, I can tell you. They are premium. I like the motorcycle that has those calipers and they tend to brake properly. Yeah, the controls on the other side of the throttle are just basic. And uh, this motorcycle comes with a small fuel tank. It's not so big. It's a, a small fuel tank, which the manufacturer is promising us to hold around 12 liters of fuel to get it to full tank. 12 liters but again this is a motorcycle that will give you over 35 36 going to 40 kilometers per liter you don't need a huge tank because it is going to be a lot of unnecessary weight yeah a lot of unnecessary weight if you can do 38 give it 37 kilometers per liter and you have 12 liters already that is a lot a lot of fuel you can go to over 400 kilometers with it looking at this bike it has provision for holding your luggage your top box you can put some boxes here and that is something that is very very important for a motorcycle that is meant to travel you need to have something you can hold on to and also put your stuff on looking at the front we have a, a limb size 19 and also 90 by 90 17 you see yeah not a very big tire not a very big tire because it is an entry level dual sport you don't need that bike to be so high because it is going to be punishing you especially if you are a new rider you can trust me that bike is going to punish you if it is taller than this one but for this xtz 150 just a perfect size look at it perfect size perfect 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 size
If you are a person who loves having fun off-road, this is a motorcycle you can get a lot of it because that weight is little, the power is not so much, this bike is not going to scare you in any, any particular way. But the suspension to the front, trust me, this thing is nice. I tried the bike myself, I had a short ride on it, and I can tell you even when you grab the front brake, the suspension is responding. One thing we need to know is that suspension plays a very vital role when it comes to braking, especially in emergency situations. You don't need suspension that is so stiff that even when you brake, the only thing that your front wheel can do is to skid. This one has some premium, premium suspension. Look at it. Look at the bike. See, everything is nicely done. This one has had a few hits, especially now because it is a demo bike. Uh, set aside by the company for people to come and test ride. Of course, you, you can expect some few people who are coming, especially newbies, who want to feel the bike and decide whether they can buy it. They're, they're going to go down a couple of times on Cabro and stuff like that. So the bike has a few scratches here and there, but nothing much has been damaged. Still looking very new. You see that young lady, quite short, but she can handle the bike properly. It is the element of the weight I was telling you. The bike doesn't have a lot of power, the bike doesn't have a lot of weight. So even a young lady like uh, the one we have here, who is actually a newbie, just like a month or two into motorcycle riding, yeah, she gave, a, she gave it a thumbs up, you see? And that's a newbie, someone who has not had a lot of experience in riding motorcycles. See, it is not so tall, it is not so heavy, not so powerful the crash is so smooth and this bike comes with a constant mesh five speed gearbox it doesn't have gear six it comes with five gears but i do believe that by gear five you should have highway speed it is not a speed bike so don't get me wrong even if this bike gives you 120 125 kilometers per hour at the top speed Trust me, that is a lot. It is even more than enough for my 150cc motorcycle. You are buying this bike to commute to work, go to the village, go to the farm, go off-road during the weekends or when you are not so busy. You just go out there and have fun. And one thing I love about light bikes, bikes without a lot of weight, is that even if you drop it, chances of you getting hurt are minimal. Yeah, they are minimal because the bike will not just throw you all over the place. It doesn't have a lot of power to throw you all over. Even if it drops and uh, it is on you, maybe your leg gets trapped or something, you have a chance of saving yourself. This bike comes with an eco mode. Yeah, the economy mode. When the RPMs are below 4000, there is that eco light that comes up on the dashboard telling you this bike has a range of RPMs where it is very very efficient in terms of fuel consumption especially now that you're buying this motorcycle to commute to work maybe you don't need a bike that is consuming a lot of fuel taking you to work and back home you don't need a lot of a lot of fuel being consumed so this one comes with an economy mode which is very very important for a modern bike to save your fuel The crash in this motorcycle is so smooth, so, so, so smooth, especially now that Yamaha has been making motorcycle, motorcycles for decades and decades, they have improved a lot in terms of technology, especially in their engines, they have improved a lot. This motorcycle has a crash that is responding so, so well, so well, even if you don't have a lot of experience in riding motorcycles, this one is going to be difficult for you to stall, trust me is going to be difficult for you to store. It's a motorcycle that uh, just a millimeter releasing of the crash, the motorcycle is already responding. They have tried the best they can to make it lighter friendly, especially for people without a lot of experience. Some of us have been in motorcycles for over 10 years and we have had to experience a lot of different crash systems. And uh, this one looks like it is quite modern. It feels better than most of the bikes I have tried, especially in the category of 150cc to 250cc. 
this one feels like something you should have riding this bike when you sit on it you feel like you're riding a big bike you can trust me the way the handlebars are pressed the suspension it tells you the bike you're riding is something nice maybe for me uh, i would tell it is right because i am used to very heavy bikes but when it comes to someone who want to go really off-road yeah crossing rivers going to the farms going deep into jungles somewhere you know you are all alone 150 cc would be a good option because it is not likely to punish you if you make mistakes when you are off-road especially if you are just trying your off-road life you should get a serious entry-level motorcycles not not how much money you have for a big bike but buying a practical bike that you know it is safe in your hands looking at this bike there is so much so much so much you would expect from a 2022 2023 bike that is that is not here those controls like traction controls those whatever you see there is rider modes a lot of things that are coming with modern motorcycles that are missing here but having said that it primarily depends on what you're looking for if you are into fashion looking for fancy motorcycles then xtz 150 is not going to give you most of what you're looking for but if you're looking for a practical bike that will take you to places that most of those modern bikes will not even try because of those sensors you don't want to risk having something going wrong somewhere deep in the jungle and then you have to look for someone to tow the bike to the garage dealership or something if you're looking for a bike that is practical then xtz 150 would fit look at the headlight just a basic headlight if your bulb blows off or something goes wrong then you have no uh, no right you can just fix it uh, fix it from wherever you are the indicators are just normal much of what this bike is offering is just practicability like something that is practical is something that is practical Looking at it from the engine, from the handlebars, from the dashboard, from everything, just practical. You see, that's an oxygen sensor. Every motorcycle, every motor vehicle with EFI system needs that one. This bike just needs some liter of oil, just one liter of oil, your service is done. When it comes to maintenance of a motorcycle, much of the cost goes to oils and filters and uh, much of the labor but xtz 150 is not a complicated bike S everything is somewhere you can see it everything is somewhere you can leash with your hand if something goes wrong with your plug somewhere maybe you got dirty fuel or something you can just change your plug wherever you are just a plug spanner no more plug you, you're going to be good to go the suspension is just there yeah just there you see everything is somewhere you can reach with your hand and that is something very beautiful about these entry level motorcycles everything is just somewhere you can put your hand look at the brakes yeah the brake lever it's just basic i'm just trying to tell you this motorcycle is going to offer you comfort yeah it's going to offer you comfort and also peace of mind knowing that it is not likely to break something it's not likely to just go wrong and make you have a very bad day yeah to begin with doesn't have a lot of things that are highly likely to go wrong because it is designed to be very basic very practical but also very very premium promising a very long life before things start to go wrong it is my prayer that one of these fine days i'm gonna get a chance to take this bike out to the jungles where it belongs and i'll be able to give you a full review of what it is when you take it to the natural habitat this is a jungle bike and i just hope and pray that one day i'm gonna get a chance to do exactly that having said that thank you so much for watching and god be with you this is yamaha xtz 150 cc an entry-level motorcycle that you can trust. Yamaha by C5 Motors, thank you so much for giving me a chance to even go through your bikes and test ride them and even film them. It doesn't just come right, I don't take it for granted. Thank you so much. And I just hope that one day we are going to take this bike to the forest and tell the viewers who are watching this video today 
what it is when you take it to where it belongs. Stay safe, stay blessed, God be with you. Meshak Samson Mine here, Two Wheels Paradise. Remember the magic buttons. Subscribe and notification bell icon.